Welcome back to the Dry Fire Journal. This is day 335. And today I want to talk about the sub-second journal. And there's been a whole lot of talk about this on the interwebs lately. And I just want to introduce the idea that I don't believe there is a downside to having a consistent, reliable, accurate sub-second draw to first shot. I do not believe there is a downside. I think where we get risky is when we all of, when when all of our dry fire stuff becomes drawing to click. Um, the way we practice things preloads our brain, and under stress, we will do what we have rehearsed and and done so many times when not under stress. And so, if you find yourself pressing the trigger the vast majority of the time when you are doing your dry fire practice and working on your draw, know that you might be building in a skill that could cause you to press a trigger when you might not need to. Are there moments when you need to draw to index and assess? Yes, I believe there are. Could there be moments where you might draw to a low ready? Yeah, I believe that might happen. Are there moments where you need to draw and put on your weapon light? Yeah. Are there moments when you need to draw one-handed and get your light out of your, your primary light out of your pocket and use that at the same time? Yes. So. There are a lot of skills that we need to have getting our primary light out and working. We need to be working on getting our palm out. By the way, please carry palm. Um, but there are so many other things that are more important, I believe, for daily average life than a sub-second draw. That includes knowing your state laws. That includes uh, knowing the lethal uh, use of force laws federally and state-wise. Uh, knowing the state laws where you live for concealed carry, where you can and cannot take lethal force with you. Um, if you travel between multiple states, knowing what the rules are in all of those states. Um, carefully weighing and measuring uh, how you drive. Uh, being an aggressive driver can lead to a lot of self-defense stuff that you don't need to mess with. Have you thought about this? Um, do you know the address? of the 10 to 12 places you frequent the most, like your child's school, uh, your place of worship, your favorite restaurant, the bar you hang out at, the place where you go work out, the park where your kids like to go, uh, your, your most common house that you're at that's not yours, uh, family home or friends' home. Um, do you work on this kind of stuff? I believe that being aware of your environment and knowing entrances and exits, having medical gear with you and knowing how to use it. Um, there are so many things that I believe are more important than a sub-second draw. And I see a trend in the defensive community where we have been working more and more and more and more and more on getting a sub-second draw as a standard of whether or not you are a quote unquote good self-defender. and. I want to be very careful because I have been putting some pretty spicy stuff online lately. Uh, some drills that I once thought were impossible that I'm now able to do because I put so much work into this. Um, I want to be very careful in all the work that I've put into and showed you that I've put into on draw to first shot and accuracy and shooting at speed and all that stuff. Uh, I want to be very careful. That I'm not portraying the wrong idea. Um, I know this isn't a big channel. I have more videos than subscribers. That's totally fine. I'm not here to build a YouTube channel. I've been clear about that from the beginning. What I've wanted to do was log my dry fire for the sake of encouraging the very small few of you that actually take this seriously enough to train regularly. So I um, want to make sure that as you are training, that you are putting in lots of thought into your medical, into your environmental awareness, into your ability to know where you are and know what your escape plan is to be able to communicate that to the people that you hang out with the most, um, to make a good plan for your home, uh, to make a good plan for your driving, to do lots of holistic things in being a good self-defender. So for what it's worth, if you're still watching, thanks for being curious and I invite you to apply this to your entire life, not just your dry fire. I'll see you tomorrow.